is a full tutorial on how to use the Sony CyberShot camera as a webcam or for live streaming. And hey, stay tuned to the end, so I have a bonus tip for you. All right, so let's get into what we need. The first part of this tutorial will be the gear and the things we're going to need for this to happen. So obviously Sony camera first, you're going to need the battery for it. That's what you're going to use for power. Now I'll put the battery in now. Here are all the devices. So this is going to be the box you use for streaming. This is called a Porta. Uh, it's also an upscaler, but you're going to be able to connect your Sony camera via the audio video connections right here. And then HDMI out. You're also going to need HDMI processor. So this one's nice because it lets you put your signal in HDMI and it's going to go directly to USB 3.0. You're also going to need, this one's hard to come by, but you can still find it. This is the Sony Prioritary USB connection, which sends the signal out from the camera to the device. Okay, so I'll have a link to all these in the description below. And I also have a free PDF if you're wanting to get that and download it. Make sure you check the description for that. And we're also going to need an HDMI cable. Okay, so there's part one. That's the setup. Now let's connect everything. This porter does need power, so let's connect power to it. Let's connect the cable to the device. Now this cable has a yellow that's going to be your video, so you just match that to the device. Connect that to the yellow, and then this black one is for your audio, and you can go either there or there. It doesn't matter. I just, I just use the red. And now that you got that, we're going to connect the other end to the camera. Okay, so now we have that connected. Next, we have the capture device. Okay, this is the part that goes out to USB. Now we have the HDMI cable. All right, so if we've made it this far, can you give this a thumbs up? And that'll help me out. And there goes the connection. So now everything is connected and ready to go. The next step is we're gonna connect this to the PC and then we're gonna jump into OBS and I'm gonna show you what that looks like so we can set up the camera. Everything is now connected. That's the camera, Sony, going from the video signal out to the scaler, the HDMI scaler, or just the box that's gonna get your signal. And then that is going into the Magwell device right there, and then that's going into USB to your PC, and that's OBS. Let's jump into OBS. Uh, if you don't know about OBS, it's a free to use streaming software, and that's what we're gonna use to grab the video signal and then stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, or whatever platform you want. So let's jump into OBS, and let me show you how that is done. Okay, now that everything's connected, let's uh, turn the camera on so it can send out a signal to OBS and let's jump into OBS and see what it looks like. We are now in OBS and the next thing we want to do is we want to add the CyberShot camera so we can connect the video signal that's coming in here. So let's uh, jump into the menu and what we want to look for is this video capture device. Okay, so let's add Sony here. We're naming it. Gonna hit okay. Uh, so obviously this is the camera that I'm using to record with uh, for the tutorial, but we want the actual USB, this one right here, USB HDMI video. And when we click that, we can see that the screen is already on. And we're just gonna hit okay. So when the screen pops up, it's gonna be a little excuse, you just want to grab it from the corner and you just want to bring it in so that you can see it properly. 
Okay, so now that we have that, all right, so let's go into the camera menu and let's uh, let's set it up so you can use it for streaming. So now that we're in the menu, we can set our time and we can just go down. And all I'm doing is uh, using the little menu dial on the back. And I don't necessarily need to set up the, the date or anything. So we're just going to hit cancel. And you can see that we already have a, a signal and I can even point it to myself right there. And there's, uh, but see, we have all these uh, display text and all that. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that right now. So let's, uh, let's go into the menu and I'll show you how to get rid of the display. So there's a button on the back of the camera right here that says display. So we can hit that and it'll get rid of some of that stuff. So let's hit display. All right, so that got rid of some of that, but then we still have the square in the middle. So how do we get rid of that square? Uh, let's go into the menu. And we're gonna scroll to this multi AF. Let's go up to this five meters and then click that and see if that gets rid of the focusing square. All right, so now we can see that we got pretty much got rid of all the text from the camera. And now I'm gonna turn it around and point it my way. All right, so there's the Sony camera. So I'm gonna get myself off the screen here. All right, so there it is. We are now effectively getting the signal from the camera. Now you can do video, uh, the audio from the camera itself, but it's not the best. So you should have, I record an extern with an external mic, and then that's exactly how I would do it. And then the other part uh, will be to get your stream going. So you all you have to do is go to start streaming on OBS and I'm not going to go into how you set that up. Uh, there's other tutorials out there you can look at for that. But once you hit start streaming, you can stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and all those uh, different platforms. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool thing to do if you're on a budget, or if you're just curious to want to try out your old digital camera. Uh, I think it still looks great. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a pretty cool thing to use. Let me know if this was useful to you, if you need more information. Uh, all the items are listed in the description below. I also have a free PDF, so be sure to grab that so you have everything listed and all the instructions are right on there. Uh, and uh, let's get into the bonus tip. Just a quick uh, mentioning of the batteries. Make sure you have at least two of these because these will run out quickly if you're powering through your live stream, but all you can, all you have to do is just have an extra one so you can swap it out and then you'll be ready to go. So it's not a big deal. All right, guys, bonus, bonus tip is not only can you stream with Sony camera, but you can use any camera just such as uh, the Nikon camera and you can connect it via the same method. Uh, this one has HDMI, so you'll be able to connect the HDMI cable straight out or the audio video cable that it came with right here so you'll be as long as you can get the signal out from the camera you'll be able to also use different point and shoot cameras as long as they have a way to send a video signal out you'll be good to go so that's the bonus tip let me know if that was useful to you and i'll have more coming up be sure to check out the other videos as well see you on the next one